So let us say you want to keep track of the changes that people are doing for different issues, for example. And when I say change, let us say you have a requirement where you want to do something when the priority is changed. And when the priority is changed, maybe from uh, low to high or high to low, maybe you want to track it and you want to do something about it. Now, in this case, uh, we have a very specific requirement where we have to track the previous value of, uh, let us say, a field like priority. Now, the good thing is that we have this information in the in the history, in the change history of uh, of your Jira issue. And from the user interface, you can always go and take a look at the changes that people are doing. But if you want to do something with the help of automation, automation rules, you can do that. And uh, let us learn how to do, how, how to basically keep track of the change in the priority. Now, to create a rule, I'm basically using this uh, this trigger, which is the field value changed. And I'm looking for, or basically the fields to monitor for changes. I'm selecting here uh, priority. And I want to basically select here uh, the operation. Basically, I want to monitor my priority field for the edit issue operation. Um, and uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to maybe just add a comment uh, on my issue just to show you how it looks like. So basically, if I print something like change log dot priority dot from string. So this from string, if you remember in one of my video, in one of my video, I talked about the change log. And if you look at the JSON uh, response of your issue, when you when you access your issue using the REST API, you get a JSON with the, the uh, change log. And for the last change log for a specific field, you have this uh, from string that contains the previous value. And uh, if you go to your issue, if you let us say, so right now we are trying to trigger this rule in our project, which is uh, Android. And uh, I'm using this one project here because I want to limit my rules and the executions so that they don't really count towards my limit. So basically, whenever I modify any issue in the Android, and if I change the priority, then a comment will be added with the previous with the previous uh, priority. And of course, I I'm trying to show you this uh, from string because uh, maybe you can access this uh, in uh, maybe your if condition, for example, or maybe you want to do something else with this. Um, so it is always good to know if you can uh, maybe, uh, let us see, let us uh, go to the add component and uh, you can do something like if else block and uh, you can then use the change log dot priority dot from string here and then you can see if it is equal to let us say high so basically if the priority is changed from high or highest to something else you want to track it or vice versa so you you, you get the idea so let me publish the rule and uh, what i'll do i'll go to my first i'll open the audit log so i want to keep track of things and maybe in the audit log i want to also log the message because uh, why not so priority is here and save publish so let us go to one of the issue in the project let us open uh, an61 and if i open this issue i will then uh, do something with the priority so right now the priority is low and we are not really tracking uh, if it is changing from high to low or low to high but we will change the priority not not anything else so this is also a good way to, when, when you're trying to write rules, try to limit your rules to, uh, to, I mean, your scope should be very narrow. So basically in our case, we are not even worrying about the whole issue. We are only worrying about when the priority of a specific issue or priority of an issue within a project is changed. Maybe you can add one more, maybe one more extra uh, scope here. I mean, you can limit the scope based on issue type if you want. So let us change it to highest. And uh, when you change it to highest, if you go back to the rule and go to the audit log, so it says success. And if you look look at the if you look at the uh, the comment, uh, so so first of all the log 
will the log action will say low because uh, we changed it f changed it from low to something else low to high low to highest low to highest so let us refresh the issue and take a look at the comment so the comment will print the information that we want to fetch so if i show you the smart value the smart value is basically doing two things all change log this will uh, basically print everything so if you go back to the issue it is now showing the whole uh, json response where you can see the field which is priori priority and uh, from string is low to string is highest and if you just want to focus on uh, from string you can uh, fetch it using uh, using your smart value which is change log dot priority dot from string and i have talked about uh, change log in uh, my automation videos and also my jira rest api videos so if you want to learn a bit more about it mm, you can actually uh, do that you can actually do quite quite a lot of things with the change log and if you go to the history this is where you can see uh, each and everything for example if you maybe go to the very bottom you can see this uh, history showing you the priority which has changed from low to high low to highest or whatever change that you're doing and uh, maybe based on a specific from value uh, and a specific to value you, you may want to trigger something maybe you want to let your your relevant people stakeholders know that the priority is now changed to highest so i, I thought i'll probably talk about change lock in a separate video because uh, there was a similar question on the community a um, couple of days back and i did make a video on something similar so the question was all about uh, uh, making sure that the priority is uh, uh, if the priority is uh, I, I think the question was all about uh, uh, ensuring that the uh, whenever the priority is changed there should be a comment something similar i think you can watch my like i think uh, uh video that i made i think two days back so in this video i thought i'll probably talk about how to get uh, into a specific value that you can track and uh, the specific the specific value can come from your history your change history so that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today. Thank you very much.